So if you haven't heard by now, Henry Cavill is leaving The Witcher. Sounds like after season three, Henry Cavill will be moving on to other projects. Now, he didn't specifically say which projects, but we will get into that. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because all we talk about are the things we love in the world of entertainment like movies, TV, and today is The Witcher. Unfortunately for us Witcher fans, it means no more Henry Cavill and the Geralt of Rivia that we have come to know and love is going to be no more. Played by Liam Hemsworth moving forward. I do think he's an interesting pick. I mean, he's got the physicality. He's, you know, a good looking guy or whatever. So I do think he could play a good Geralt. But after Henry Cavill, it's going to be like he said in his own post, giant shoes to fill. And as you can see online, a lot of Witcher fans are upset. A lot of Witcher fans are disappointed. And Henry Cavill himself is a Witcher fan, which makes this news so much more shocking and a little bit heartbreak. We know Henry's a big gamer, he's a big computer nerd, he's a big gaming nerd, and I mean that in the best way possible. So for him to be moving away from a project that he loves, like The Witcher, like Geralt of Rivia, it's not going to be so that he can go do Enola Holmes 3. It's not so he can do other random movie projects. At least I don't believe. Now, he is obviously moving his way up as an actor, so he's probably getting a lot more movie deals than he was before he started The Witcher. And Henry Cavill is a product and a product that is going up in value. Maybe that's what it came down to. Netflix just couldn't give him the value that he feels he is worth. And that's why he had to, unfortunately, walk away from the project. Now, he is still going to be finishing season three. It's not like we are not going to get any more new episodes with Henry Cavill. This has obviously been something that's been in development for quite a while as they've already announced their next Geralt of Rivia. So this is something that he informed them a while ago, probably when he had to go to do new footage for the Black Adam post credit scene. Now, if you are, haven't seen that movie, gonna get into the spoilers here. I mean, everybody knows it. Henry Cavill returns as Superman. That's obviously what this has gotta be all about, right? I mean, I'm not, am I not the only one thinking that? I can't be the only one thinking that. That this has gotta be Superman related. Now, it's not like he has a movie lined up ready to shoot right this minute of Superman. So it is a little surprising that maybe they couldn't do season three and four, but with the timing and the scheduling that this man has gone through, it was already working six days a week doing The Witcher, and he wants to be able to do other things. He wants to be able to do other movies at the same time. So for him as, a, as an actor and for his career, I think this is a good choice for him. Unfortunately for the show, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe Liam Hemsworth will be even better. Maybe not. It is going to be difficult for sure to be able to see a new actor in that role. But if you have story to tell, a right story to tell, then the story will make up for it. They're not going to, if you have to sign or write someone off a show, write a character off of a show, it's usually because that actor wants to do other things. And they're just like, okay, well, we didn't really know what else to do with your character or we can bring your character back later. But if it's a significant character like Jonathan Kent, the Jonathan Jr. in Superman and Lois, he was recently recast because the actor had to go away for personal issues. So they recast the actor and they're going to go on forward in season three without him. And you know, some people are upset, but for the, the best thing for the show to move forward and tell the story that clearly it wants to tell, and they believe that they have a good story worth telling without the original actor, whether it's Superman and Lois or whether it's The Witcher, they feel like they have a story that is worth telling without the original actor, and they're gonna move forward with a new actor, regardless of how we may feel about it. So I am curious to see how that transpires and if we'll ever get to learn as to why exactly is it that Henry Cavill left. I'm assuming, I'm sure everybody is assuming, it's got to be Superman related. Not just because he's a busy guy with his scheduling conflicts and scheduling issues, but there's a Man of Steel sequel being worked on in development, they're looking for writers, and maybe he's going to be doing some more reshoots for, you know, a post credit scene for Shazam 2, or for The Flash, or Aquaman 2. Who knows? But for Henry Cavill to walk away from a project that he loves, like The Witcher, is like, I feel like it's gotta be because he's got a project coming up that he loves more. And that's gotta be 
Superman. But that's just my thoughts. That's just how I feel. I could be 100% wrong and time will tell. And maybe with new information, I'll be singing a different tune. Maybe you'll find out something like, yeah, Henry, you're kind of a dick for leaving The Witcher, bro. But we'll see. Time will tell. What do you guys think? How are you feeling about this? Are you disappointed that we're going to be getting new Geralt of Rivia? Are you hopeful that we'll be getting more Superman in return? Is this a Henry give, Henry take situation? Whatever you think, let us know in the comments below as we'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're feeling worthy, toss a coin to your Witcher.